Hi everybody, Josh here at North Akron Fit Body Bootcamp. I'm here with Caitlin, and today we're here to talk to you about a very important subject, something that's near and dear to my heart, and I hope it is to you also, and that's push-ups. Now I know what you're thinking, hey, I already know how to do a push-up. You get down on the floor, and you come back up. But it's a little more complicated than that. Now, there are a lot of things to think about when you're doing a push-up, and I don't want to overcomplicate anything for you, but when it comes down to it, knowing how to do one well is going to be a skill that you can maintain for the rest of your life, and it's going to make it easier for the rest of your life to get up and down off the floor. And ultimately, that's going to be a very important skill for you to have, because as we get older, getting up and down off the floor becomes more challenging. And I don't want you to be that person that when, that's afraid to have to get down to the floor because it's so hard to get back up from the floor. So you need to start now. And I'm here to help you. And Caitlin has decided she is going to let me show you how to do push-ups. And she's going to sacrifice her ego today to try as hard as she can to work on these push-ups. So you ready to get started, Caitlin? Yeah. Okay. So she's going to start down on the floor. Shoulders over the wrists. Her legs are going to be straight here. She's going to squeeze her glutes nice and tight. Roll up those abs. She's going to tuck her tailbone toward her ribs. Her ribs are tucked slightly down toward her belly button. She's going to start by squeezing her shoulder blades together. And as she goes down, she's going to get her chest to the floor. She's going to reach with those arms. Her hips are off the floor. Now she drives straight up. Great job. Go ahead and relax for a second. Now, as you can tell, that was pretty hard for her. This is a really hard push-up progression to do here. That's what we consider a perfect push-up. Get your chest down to the floor with your hips slightly off the floor and then be able to drive back up. So go ahead and give that one a try and see if you can do it. If you're not there yet, that's okay. A lot of people aren't. But that means there's opportunity to get stronger here. And isn't it the best thing when you realize, oh, there's an opportunity for me to be a little bit better than I was yesterday. This is your opportunity. So, now, if you can't do a perfect push-up yet, that's okay. We're going to show you some modifications that are going to help you get to that point. So, you ready to show another one, Caitlin? Okay, so the next one Caitlin's going to do, she's going to get to that push-up position. We're going to use a yoga block to see how far down she can get. We use the yoga block as an external feedback. When she can get her chest down to that yoga block, we know she's getting a pretty good range of motion here. So again, straight legs, squeeze those glutes. She's going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Touch that yoga block and press back up. Take one more, Caitlin. Squeeze. Now press, push that air out. Go ahead and relax for a second. Now you notice that was a little easier for her than getting all the way down to the floor, and that's okay. Her goal is to be able to do those perfect push-ups, but for now, she's just going to practice getting down there. Now, we're going to show you another modification. If that's too much for you, you can also try using the block from another angle, from another dimension, or getting straight up here. So, the next one we're going to show you is from your feet, and then lowering down to your knees. So let's show them again here. So, she's going to practice the eccentric with straight legs. She's going to squeeze her shoulder blades together. She lowers herself down toward the floor. She gets her chest all the way to the floor. And then she drops her knees and presses back up. Let's show them one more here. She starts by squeezing those shoulder blades. Get your chest all the way down, knees to the floor, and then press back up. Great. Go ahead and relax for a second. Now, as you can see, again, that's a little easier for her because she's been working on these. So if she was struggling, that's where we would start with her. But if this is where you're at, that's great. Start with that and do those as well as possible. Really get good at that movement and then progress from there. So the next one we're going to show you is straight from the knee. So let's start in that kneeling position. Now, one of the things we often see with people when they're doing push-ups from their knees is that they leave their hips up really high. So let's show them one that we usually see today. So as she drops down, keep your hips up higher and drop down into what we usually see from somebody in a push-up position. Here we go. So notice how our hips are just a little high. She's going to lower hips just a little bit, squeeze those glutes, and now press back up. Good. She takes a deep breath in as she lowers herself down and then pushes the air out as she presses back up. So you can practice these also. Again, if this is where you're starting, that's great. Remember, you can always move up to the next progression as you get stronger. The last one we're going to show you is more of an isometric move. There's a little bit of movement to it, and it also works those shoulder stabilization muscles to help get you stronger. And that's our scapular retraction with shoulder taps. So she's going to go back to that push-up plank position. She's going to start by squeezing her shoulder blades, only coming down a couple inches. Squeeze, now press back up, and then she's going to tap each shoulder with the opposite arm. Go as wide as you need to with your feet here to keep your hips stabilized. Think about that drink tray that's on your lower back. Don't let it spill as you do those shoulder taps. Let's give her one more. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Now press back 
up. Great. Awesome. Okay, come on down to the last. Now, another way to get better at those straight leg push-ups is to do them from an elevated position. So if you're at home, you can try using your countertop or a chair or the back of your couch. Since we're at a gym, we have a bench here. We're going to use that bench today. So let's show them how we do this one, Caitlin. So she's going to come around to the other side of the bench and get this angle here. She's going to go with that straight leg push-up position. All the cues are the same. She's just at an elevated position, which takes weight off of her upper body, lightens that load so she can work on a good range of motion. So she's going to squeeze those shoulder blades as she drops down and then press back up. Deep breath in through the nose on the way down as she pushes that air out as she comes back up. Let's do one more. You squeeze those shoulder blades and press. Again, this bench might be too low for you right now. That's okay. Find a countertop that's a little bit higher. Remember, you have to practice these movements to get better at them. As you get better at the, the modification, you can move up to the next harder step. Eventually, you will get to that place where you can do those perfect push-ups. So give these a try. Let go of the ego. Practice, practice, practice. Get stronger, and you will get leaner. You will feel better. You'll move better, and you'll be more confident with those movement patterns. Thanks a lot.